complicated. Well, markets don't seem too worried about the protests over there or anything else for that matter. Stocks way up. But will all this change if there's new tax reform soon? Hadley Heath Manning of Independent Women's Forum joins us along with Jonas Max Ferris, co-founder of MaxFunds.com and Gary B. Smith, Kadena Group President. Gary, let me start with you. Markets still moving up. Jobs are still moving up. We got more jobs uh, numbers, good job numbers on Friday. So what's to worry? Well, I, look, I think the economy is more flatline than the, even the jobs report indicate. I think, the, you know, the big the, the problem that, you know, we discussed yesterday was the wages are not going up. Now, apart from that, what's to worry? I think that the worry is that nothing gets done in this administration. If we don't get the tax reform, if we don't get the health care reform, I think a lot of the basis of this rally, which was, you know, the kind of the Trump rally, it goes away. Right. That's the concern. But Hadley, what we also don't have is a president who's interfering with the markets every step of the way, as we did in the last administration. I mean, uh, we have a president who is a businessman. We don't often get that. This, this guy is not good. The businesses don't have to worry that, oh, my gosh, it's another day. We're going to get another regulation or another tax or another mandate. Well, that's exactly right. I think there is some expectation built into our markets today that tax reform will ultimately come to fruition. But I don't think what we're seeing is single issue optimism. We know the Trump administration has already taken action to free our energy sector, to reform regulations and, and roll back unnecessary regulations on our economy. So this is a broad based enthusiasm, an uptick in labor force participation. There's a lot of reasons to be hopeful. And Jonas, again, the jobs number looked pretty good yesterday. I mean, it, it does appear that business people are, are planning for the future by hiring more workers, that's that's faith, no? Yeah, I mean, so a quarter million jobs, 4.4% unemployment. If you've got a college degree, it's you can't get a whole lot lower in unemployment for educated workers who have skills right now. So, I mean, yeah, we all were hoping for a tax cut. There's no question about it. But at this point, it might even cause inflation. Like, this economy is pretty hot. Are we wasting a huge opportunity to tax reform and simplify the tax uh -huh. code without a net tax cut? Definitely. There's no question about it. But to the points just made, you know, not getting anything done also means not getting bad things done. Like, yeah. yeah, we'd like to have some things fixed, but we'd all, you know, business people do not want some of the stuff that was proposed by other people who didn't win. Okay. There was going to be more, ta more tax Gary, brackets, et cetera. Gary, Jonas is to be forgiven because he's so young. He doesn't remember the <laughs> 1980s as I do when everybody said, oh, the economy is getting too hot. When we were growing at 7.4 percent and what happened to inflation? It actually started to come down. You can have I'm not afraid of stronger growth. Are you? No, I mean, who, who can raise prices these days? What, retailers can't raise prices, yeah. supermarkets can't raise prices, auto dealers can't raise prices. I'm wondering where this too hot inflation is coming from, because there's so much competition out there. Uh, there is the Internet, which drives everything now. You can price compare across the board. You can go to the Costco if you don't like the pr right. prices at the Kroger. I don't see it overheating. Well, Hadley, I'm just wondering what happens if we do get tax cuts in. We just had a congressman on saying, he understands that the health care is a mess. Changing one sixth of the economy is not easy. Paul Ryan probably should have gone with tax cuts. He thinks we will get tax cuts. So if we do, do you think the market has already priced that in and won't move much? Or is there another leg to the upside? I think there's always room for a, another upside. Uh, of course, the, we want to focus on putting more money in the pockets of American workers, and we can do that through tax cuts. We can do it through wage growth, which we'd love to see more of that. Obviously, we can also do it through health reform because people are, are paying out, shelling out monthly premiums under Obamacare that are unaffordable. So are. health reform is a big part of this, too. But, Jonas, I don't know about you. I'm, I'm not very hopeful we're going to get tax reform with all the problems that just the Republicans have, let alone getting any Democrats on board. Yeah, I, I am not expecting big tax cuts. Unlike the 80s, well, to your hold point. On a second. You know, I, said, I, said health, I said health reform. I think we will get the tax cuts. That I is, think Republicans I are think, more united uh, on that. Go ahead. I think health care is even less likely to yes. get significantly reformed in the way people thought it was going to get reformed. That, yes. What little changes are going to happen are going to be pretty minor in the grand scheme of things, although that is a tax cut if it gets done right the way it should have been done. So in That's some ways it's both is what it was. Yeah. Although, Gary, I'm, I'm worried because some Republicans now are saying that we can't get rid of all the Obamacare taxes. Well, you know, they've had now eight years, which a lot of them have run on repeal and replace 
Obamacare. They can't get that done, David. I disagree with you. Boy, getting tax reform done with all the little constituencies in the tax code, I that's a big mountain to scale. I'm hoping. I, I, I admit it's hope, but it's my hope. All right, guys, we got to leave it at that. <laughs> Gary you. Jonas Hadley, thank you.